What's up everyone? My name is Anuj Kumar and this is the fifth video tutorial for the action script. In the previous videos we learned something about go to and stop and go to and play functions, how to create uh, actions on new layers, how to create variables and how to display variables into a text toolbar. In this video we will learn about how to stop our looping and how to create an if else block or if else statement. I will explain this everything in this video. So a summary of our previous video, what our this animation little bit movie do is control enter. It counts how many time our loop plays. As it reaches frame 30, sorry. Okay. As it reaches frame frame 30, it sees a bunch of code. Go to end play and it goes to second frame and plays again and again and again so we'll try to uh, stop this animation and by placing if else conditional statements so gro go to frame 30 of actions layer click on actions so now we'll create if else statements so it looks like this I'll explain this in a moment if some parenthesis else something so these are called curly braces this can be found above your enter key or return key uh, so what this if else statement means it's a conditional statement uh, you remember the comments we can put and the compiler ignores whatever we write inside it so it's a conditional statement so what it means is if something happens if something happens is true execute this also write this in comments else you execute this okay so if this part is true do something which is inside these curly braces else do something which is inside these curly braces so we want to do is if sorry compiler obviously we didn't do the complete missing let's put this into a comment box okay we want that when it reaches 4 our animation should stop and it should proceed from frame 30 to frame 50 and stop at frame 50 so you want at frame 30 when this count variables get a value of 4 then our animation should go to or our timeline should move from frame 30 to frame 50 and should not execute again and again from frame 2 so go to actions layer on the 30th keyframe first of all I'll remove this comments okay so if the value of count is equals equals 4 we compare two uh, variables or two constants by this equals equals it means that if count value at that point is equal to equal to 4 then do something we want when it equals to 4 we should our program or our timeline should go to and play sorry should go to 31st keyframe as it reaches as it goes to 4 our timeline should move to 31st keyframe and should move on else we want it to go to and play at 2 whatever it was moving so we'll remove this so what it will do 
it will test if count value is equal to 4 it will go to and play from 31 else it will go to add 2 so let's test it out by pressing control enter 1 2 3 okay it's moving on 3 okay I got it Uh, when it reaches here its value is 4 the count value is 4 but it's not displaying because it hasn't returned to its frame second where it displays the value so instead we can write 5 sorry 5 save it test it and 4 it's moving to frame 31st and then going on so we want on frame 50 it should stop on frame 50 insert keyframe actions we will introduce another function called stop by this our animation stops and some uh, parentheses two parentheses and of course a semicolon at the end of every line so what it does it stops our script and uh, nothing happens when it hits this code as a result our timeline uh, our motion stops there only test it so it will move for four times until frame 30 and then it moves to frame 50 and it stops so this is pretty missing much so let's revise what we did today it tests if else is a conditional statement which tests and executes some block of code so it tests if the count value is equal to 5 then go to 31st keyframe else go to 2nd keyframe and of course semicolon at the end of every line so what inside the curly brace just happens and nothing else uh, we do not put semicolon here sorry here uh, it's because if we uh, put it here it will not execute the statement below it I will tell you uh, another reason in coming tutorials but let's just keep it to this simple thanks for watching the video please do subscribe if you like it and uh, bye bye